Okay, so here's your commercial coin out machine timer. It's a typical Kenmore Whirlpool timer. And basically it would not come on. If we look at it, we can see there's some burnt marks on that cog. The cog does not seem burnt itself, but there's these burnt marks we can see. These burnt marks here. These burnt marks here, it's not actually burnt, it hasn't burnt the cog, which is good. But basically means these points along where these burnt marks are, are pretty well worn out. And you can see it, it kind of expands from, pretty much from these three points here to the left. And when we see these sparks like this, these burnt marks, we know these points are not making good contact. So basically, what I do is, I loosen the little tang here and here, and then we can pull this apart and pull these points out and take a look at them. And so what I normally do is I'll take, I'll cut a small piece of the sandpaper and fold it up and then stick it in between the points. And basically we're buffing the points a little bit, just taking off the rough edges. And then what I'll do is I'll try and, after I get it all cleaned up, I'll try and push the uh, points together slightly so that the tolerances are a little bit closer than they were before. It's kind of a tricky process. Basically, you can check it with a meter to make sure the points are making contact when you gently push them. And so, yeah, that's what I normally do. And, you know, it's better than, uh, you know, it, it's like giving CPR to your timer, basically. I mean, it's, how long is it going to last? Well, you know, that's the trick question. Uh, the, the answer is basically how, how often do you use it how much do you use it um, so yeah that's how I clean those okay, up here's a disclaimer uh, so basically when you pull the points out you want to look at these feet here these feet uh, whatever the feet along the edge here to make sure that they're not burn off these are basically plastic things they tend to burn off uh, you could possibly put some JB Weld on the tips of these to bring them up. Uh, they do not normally sell these points sets individually. You have to buy the whole timer. Then if we look in here, we can also see that there are burnt marks inside there. And so we know which points have been arcing. You can see on the bottom here, this one is uh, pretty well burnt. So uh, this would cause problems. The top ones look all good there but these bottom ones yeah these bottom ones you can clean them up with some brake cleaner or ideally you want to put a, a electronic contact cleaner in there and get your the finest grit you can get this is this is 400 grit this is pretty good grit um it's uh yeah it's pretty fine because you just want to take off any of the major corrosion on these things you don't want to go any deeper than that just the pits Try and, try and clear out some of the pits, like points on a car. Uh, you know, if you're, that really dates me because they don't make points on cars anymore. But when they add points on cars, you could able to, you could uh, clean the points up. Anyway, that's what I normally do. And of course, I will uh, lube uh, all the moving parts on these. And if you want, want your timer rebuilt, some timers I can rebuild some. Some that are, uh, where the points are basically burnt off the ends, I can't do anything with. Um, but if you're interested, you can contact me, 707-443-8347, Pacific Time. And normally I rebuild the timers for $35. And that includes uh, shipping in the continental USA. And so my email is mrmaintain at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching.